Hi friends, David from Above AVL here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about setting up a backup port in VMP. So this applies if you're using a Novastar video wall. We've got some of the best at AboveAVL.com, and we love to help find the best fit for you. Okay, not only in quality, but also balancing costs. And then you're gonna have one of the newer processors. So you're gonna have a KU20, an MX series, or one of the other ones that run, that is able to run this awesome VMP software that is just, you know, miles ahead of the old stuff. Okay, so let's dive in. So setting up a backup port is really crucial and something you wanna do in a lot of situations. Not all, but a lot. Let's walk through the setup and then we're gonna walk through the why and then wrap up the video. Nice and simple here, guys. We're here in VMP and, ooh, my cursor highlight does not work at all, so we're gonna live without it. And <laughs> we're gonna go to layout, okay? And so by default, oops, turn that off. By default, it shows our port, it shows how we're hooked up, one, two, three, four, five, six on our small wall there. And we'll also pop it up on the screen uh, from camera one because it's a little easier to see there. Whenever you have a wall, you know, this port obviously only is 13% loaded, but especially when you're loaded up higher quantities of panels, if you get a bad cable anywhere in the midst, it's gonna it's going to affect everything downstream from there. It's just gonna turn off, right? Well, actually, it's gonna do whatever happens with this no data signal parameter. So it's actually per panel. And so you want to have a backup. Now, Setting up a backup is pretty easy, and then we'll talk about the reasons why, because I want to get to the point. Okay, so you go to Ports Redundancy, again, Layout. Um, don't click on a panel. Click off the panels, Ports Redundancy. Now, in the case of this KU20, 123 gets paired with 456. Okay, so now we'll fast forward through me running over the wall and plugging in that port. All right, so now we are plugged in to the primary and the backup. And so here is why you want a backup. As I said, you want a backup because if any of those jumper cables between those panels go bad, everything downstream will go off, okay? Or hold the last signal or whatever the panel's set to. If we go to the monitor tab here, this is really key. Um, we're gonna see here an error. See, we get these error lines where I didn't have the port hooked up. Okay, I didn't have the backup hooked up. Okay, now I'm good. I've got the recovery, it says it's plugged in. We're good to go. So if you're using a backup port, you have to check VMP up from time to time. You've gotta check it and you've gotta make sure there are not errors. Now, back in the old version, you could set up uh, emails and I honestly forget if there are ways to do that here. But honestly, the easier way is just to simply, because I, I don't think there's a way to sign up for emails as of right now to bother you about that. But whether you're permanently installed, temporary, just pull this up, you know, once a month, put it on your calendar and check this monitor page and make sure there are not errors, okay? Because if you install a backup and then you never, ever, ever check for errors, then guess what? It's pointless. Like the backup will save you for the first cable that goes bad, the first jumper, but then after that it doesn't, right? Because if you have two jumpers bad, it's not gonna save you. So let's demonstrate that really quick on our wall so you can see what happens. So I'm gonna go jump behind the wall and I'm going to unplug one cable. All right, so I'm behind the wall. You obviously can't see me and I am unplugging a random jumper here, okay? And so momentarily, what we're gonna see on the screen, we've got it, boom. It's firing in backup mode, and you can see all those nice yellow spots that tell us, hey, there's a problem. Now, if you your wall is still working fine, right? I'm peeking out from behind it on the screen. I see it. It's still working fine. And so this is where, if you don't check the monitor screen, your backup is useless because when you have another connection fail in your wall, such as that, guess what? Now we've lost a lot of our wall and momentarily, we should see some more errors popping up in VMP. Do, 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 do. Any day now, Bueller. Any day. And so whether it's gonna give us more or not, obviously significant portions of the wall are not working, so it's pretty obvious. 
And so, you know, if you didn't, if you weren't ever checking this monitor, you wouldn't know, right? If you've got one cable bad, we'll go back to that part. So back to one cable bad, okay? Now we're in one cable bad, wall's working, but we still have errors in VMP, okay? If you check this once a month, you're gonna see, first of all, I see, okay, you know, panel one is green, panel two is yellow. That means the jumper between panel one and two, the ethernet cable is bad, okay? And that's the, what I simulated by unplugging it. Then I go, I change that cable out like I just did here behind the wall, and when we get back to the interface in a minute, we're gonna see everything's gonna turn green again. Again, it's not instantaneous because, you know, you're checking this once a month, much less often than that. And boom, primary and backup, now active, now good to go. In terms of the monitors, we should be able to, it should either clear in a couple minutes or boom, just restart VMP. Okay, monitor still got stuff in there, um, but we should be able to have everything back up, everything happy soon enough. And then, you know, once you resolve those issues, you'll see your walls working, everything clears out in monitor, and you should be good to go. If you're still not good to go, then, you know, it might take a minute to clear up, but you should see all those errors clear pretty quick. So I hope this helps you if you're using a Novastar processor, KU, or an MX series. And if you do need a new processor, a new wall, you need to upgrade, you've got questions, we are the knowledgeable folks who love to help and love to find you really good quality stuff, but still be able to hit the price points you need to have a excellent LED wall. We like to, we look across all the different brands to find what's best for you and get it in your hands. So if that sounds good, head over to aboveavl.com, fill out our LED wall calculator. It's awesome, we'll pop it here on the screen quick. It's gonna spit out some results to you of an LED wall that will be perfect for your space. And yes, you can even ask us for help installing it. We love to help you and we'd love to see you over at Above AVL for all your audio, video, and lighting needs. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you there. Thanks.